Are you ready to lose some weight? Don't go on a diet. A lithium ion battery is a great way to shed poundage off your bike. I'll give you the lowdown on lithium ion technology in this video from the MC Garage. Lead acid batteries have served us well for more than a century, but these heavy poison filled devices are giving way to lighter, more energy dense and non-toxic lithium ion units. There's still a lot of misinformation out there about lithium ion technology, so here's some straight info. First and foremost, lithium ion batteries are crazy light compared to their lead acid counterparts. The first time I picked one of these things up, I wasn't even sure there was anything in there. This is the stock battery out of my KTM RC390, and this is a lithium ion replacement. The stock battery weighs a whopping 6.38 pounds, while the lithium ion battery weighs just 1.4 pounds. That's over five pounds removed from high up on the KTM's chassis. Doesn't get much easier than that. Lithium ion batteries can also be a lot smaller than their lead acid counterparts, which is nice because it frees up room in your battery box for things like a fuel controller or a toolkit. If shimming a smaller battery sounds like a pain, most manufacturers also offer their lithium units in stock case sizes as drop-in replacements. Another benefit of lithium ion batteries is that they offer a lot of cranking amps for their size. But here's where things get a little weird with this technology. When it's cold out, lithium batteries may not crank hard right away. That's because the battery needs to be woken up with a little work. Usually, running your headlights for a few minutes or a preliminary stab at the starter button is all it takes to wake up a coal battery. And obviously, if it's warm out or once your bike's already warmed up, it's not an issue. Finally, unlike lead acid batteries, lithium ion batteries have a very low self-discharge rate. That means the battery won't drain itself down over time. That also means that if you want to store your bike for the winter, all you have to do is disconnect the negative battery terminal. Lithium ion sounds awesome, right? Well, there are a few drawbacks. First is price. Most lithium batteries cost up to 30% more than their lead acid counterparts. Another concern is that if your pricey lithium ion battery goes dead, say because you left your key on, it might be gone for good. Letting the battery voltage drop to as high as 11 volts can cause permanent damage. Lead acid batteries, on the other hand, are quite resilient and can often be brought back to life from nearly dead. And when it comes time to charge your lithium ion battery, you need to be careful about what kind of charger you use. You should never use an old-fashioned lead acid charger. Rather, use a modern smart charger specifically designed for lithium ion batteries. But, as you might have guessed it, lithium ion chargers are quite a bit more expensive than standard run-of-the-mill chargers. Thankfully, any charger you buy for a lithium ion battery is also going to charge standard lead acid batteries. So there you have it, the ins and outs of lithium ion technology. Hopefully you learned something new today, and hopefully you subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date with MC Garage and our other show, On Two Wheels. But that's it for this episode. Tune in next time for more tips and tricks.